Hi everyone, there is a tug of war tournament happening in our school and we are here to cheer our favourite teams. The first match is between Little Tugger and Pullovers. But you know, Little Tugger is actually the weakest with only three members and they have to compete with the strongest team of the tournament, the Pullovers. So it's a match between weak versus strong. It's obvious that Little Tuggers never stood a chance against pullovers. Just look how strongly the pullovers pulled on the rope. The second match is between Team Spud Lovers and Ropey Guys. Both teams seem equally prepared and strong. I wonder who will win. Look at that! It's a tie! Woohoo! Both the teams are in the next round. Just like this, there is a constant tug of war between the atoms forming covalent bonds. Yes, the shared electrons in the outermost shell are like the rope of the war. Each atom tries to pull it towards themselves as we saw it in our game. Look at the structure of a water molecule. The number of electrons present in an oxygen atom is 8 and that in the hydrogen atom is only 1. This means that the pull from an oxygen atom is far greater than the pull from two individual hydrogen atoms. So the shared pair of electrons move towards oxygen than the hydrogen atom. Thus the distance of the shared pair of electrons is nearer to the oxygen atom than the hydrogen atom. As a result of this, oxygen becomes partially negative and hydrogen becomes partially positive. There is a formation of two opposite poles in the molecule. Hence, this molecule is called a polar compound, a compound formed due to the unequal distance of the shared pair of electrons between the two atoms. But now, let's look at the molecule of chlorine. Both the atoms are trying to pull the electrons with the same strength. As the shared electrons are at the equidistant position from each atom, there are no poles of charges developed in either of the atoms. Therefore, such molecules are called non-polar compounds. Interesting, isn't it? How there is a constant tug of war between these atoms that help them form a bond. Oh, it's time for round two in the tournament. See you next time.